So before we get started, I'd like to talk to you about the basic belly dance posture. Keeping the knees really bent is very, very important in order to be able to do a lot of the belly dance isolations. So what's important is keeping the legs right underneath the hip bones, keeping the knees really bent, and keeping your weight on the inside of the foot. So if you shift your weight all the way forward into the toes, now come back all the way back to the heel. Find the center, find the place where you're in the middle of those two extremes. This is where you want to be in terms of your feet. Keeping the knees bent is very important in terms of isolation for your hips. The lower you are to the ground, the bigger a lot of the hip movements will be. Additionally, you want to tuck the tailbone under, keeping the lower abs engaged throughout most of the movements. What you want to do is think of contracting about an inch below the belly button and bringing the line on your pants and your hip scarf to a horizontal to the floor. So you don't want to contract too hard where you have absolutely no room to go in anymore, but you don't want to have a full curve in your lower back. So knees bent, tucking under. Next is the chest. Take a really deep breath, inhale all the way up, allowing the ribcage to float all the way up, and now exhale all the way down. Now lift slightly above where you normally are. You should feel a slight engagement between your shoulder blades, and the ribcage should be floating a little bit above where you normally would be standing. Once again, knees bent, tailbone under, chest lifted, shoulders rolled down the back, arms out. You want to have lots of space between the elbow and your waist. You don't want to be too close, but you also don't want to have your arms straight out. So there should be a slight bend in the wrists and in the elbow. Lots of energy through the fingertips. You might want to drop the middle finger toward the thumb in order to create a more graceful line. Additionally, you want to keep the chin slightly lifted. And this is what your normal belly dance uh, original position would be. Additionally, when you're practicing all these isolations, please be patient with yourself because it takes a long time to develop the range of motion that I'll be illustrating here.